As if the first landing was not landmark enough, the Chandrayaan-3 Vikram lander has performed the second soft landing on the moon. ISRO has called it the HOP experiment. Vyond's senior correspondent Siddharth MP decodes what this means for India and also ISRO. Let's imagine we are doing a warm-up. From where we are, jump with both feet 30 centimeters up in the air and land 40 centimeters away from where we jumped. Easy, right? Imagine doing the same thing using a robotic spacecraft on the moon. That's where things get complicated. This is the hop test that India's Chandrayaan-3 Vikram lander performed. So why do you need to hop a craft on the moon? Chandrayaan-3 was only a lunar soft landing mission. It's a one-way trip. You land the craft on the moon, it does its experiments and after the mission life, it stays there forever. In case ISRO wants to bring back samples from the moon or land astronauts and bring them back, then a new technology is required. ISRO should be able to make the landed craft vertically take off like a helicopter and reach lunar orbit and then travel towards Earth. This is a very challenging process. Firstly, gravity on the moon is one-sixth that of Earth, so it's much harder to calculate and fly the craft. This hop test that ISRO has done is a preliminary step towards future lunar exploration initiatives. The successful hop test validates the hardware and software that ISRO currently possesses. With Siddharth MP, senior correspondent, Chennai. The last time a lunar hop test was conducted was in the year 1967 and it was done by the NASA Surveyor 6 craft. Surveyor 6 was part of a series of missions, unmanned missions that were a precursor to the Apollo astronaut program. So Surveyor 6 demonstrated how to take off from the moon and then do a hop test. Likewise, Chandrayaan-3 has also done something very similar. This paves the way for future Indian exploratory missions, including ones like sample return missions and perhaps even manned missions or astronaut missions to the moon. But for this, more technology has to develop, more capability has to emerge in India. This includes larger and more powerful rockets, bigger and more powerful spacecraft with more powerful engines, and larger craft with bigger fuel tanks. Once this technology is ready and proven, India can also undertake much more ambitious lunar exploration missions. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.